Ever wonder what's wrong with Native American mascots? Pretty much everything. So there are a ton of major league sports teams with Native American mascots, but they're not the only ones. Across the US and Canada, there are actually 2,128 high school, college, and professional teams with Native American names and nicknames. Braves, Chiefs, Indians, Orangemen, Redmen, Reds, Redskins, Savages, Warriors, Apaches, Aztecs, Cherokees, Chickasaws, Chippewas, Mohawks, Mohicans, Seminoles, and Sioux, and that is not even close to all of the names. And no matter how you slice it, these mascots are super racist, and they should be banned. But football is important. We are honoring Native Americans. Honor? Redskins is not a compliment. It's a textbook racial slur. The US Patent Office even canceled the Washington Redskins trademark because we don't trademark racial slurs. And it's not just the Redskins. Most of these team names do nothing to honor actual Native American heritage or traditions. Think about it this way. If someone broke into your grandma's nursing home and then killed her, I don't think putting her grinning face on a hockey jersey would be such an honor. And these mascots are a textbook example of cultural appropriation. Many of these teams have been around since the 20s and 30s. Meanwhile, Native Americans didn't earn the right to legally practice their religions in the US until 1978. So for a long time, dressing up as a Native person was okay, but actually being a Native person and practicing your own religion wasn't okay. In fact, many activists and councils have frequently vocalized their frustration with these names and mascots. Still don't believe me? Why don't we ask a Native American? Oh, hello. I'm not your stereotypical Indian. This is the 21st century. And nowadays, see, the problem with America is that we're looked at as people of the past. And we're not people of the past. We live here with you. We're doctors. We're lawyers. We're rappers. We're people that are living in the here now. And mascots keep us in the past. It reminds us that they were there. They were then. That was America's time then. But in reality, we're all around. America. We are not your mascots. But sports are about fun, and all that other stuff is in the past. It's so depressing. Actually, Native American communities today are still dealing with the consequences of our nation's past. These mascots shape how people perceive Native Americans, especially for people with little or no exposure to real indigenous people. Let's look at the ever popular warrior stereotype. Now, throughout history, this idea that Native Americans were violent and warlike were used to justify civilizing the savages by forcing Native Americans to assimilate to whiteness. Research also shows that these mascots contribute to low self-esteem in Native American children and young adults. Representation matters, folks. We took your land, forced you out of your home, killed off your family, and tried to strip you of your culture, but here's a hat. Go team! We have packaged and repackaged the idea of Native Americans to the point that they're basically folklore. From Peter Pan to dancing with wolves in sexy Native American costumes, today the average American knows more about pretend Native people than the real ones. So what's the solution? Well, it's pretty obvious and actually not that hard. Listen to members of the Native American community. Hundreds of tribes and organizations, including the National Congress of American Indians, are demanding that these names and mascots be changed. And schools like Dartmouth, Stanford, Seattle University, and Arkansas State prove that a name change isn't the end of the world. Oh, mom, they changed the mascot. Does that mean I get a new hat and bed sheets and a lunchbox? I love memorabilia. And just this year, the Oregon State Board of Education banned all Native American names for all student athletic teams and clubs. Ooh, progressivism looks sexy on you, Oregon. So what do you think of sports teams using Native Americans for mascots? And have you ever gone to a school with one of these teams? Tell us in the comments, and we will not see you next week because this is the end of season one of Decoded. So tell us how much you love us and want us to come back, and maybe we will. Definitely not racist. Are you congratulating yourself for not saying the N-word right now? Yeah.